Hi, this is a small demonstration or proof of concept of how we might use React and D3 in combination to display geospatial information. Um, here I'm taking a large database of about 200,000 terrorism events in the last 40 years and overlaying their um, position on a representation of the world as a globe um, and what I'm doing is I'm just adding up the number of events per hundred square kilometers and drawing a heat map on the globe um, this sort of thing is quite a nice visualization for um, and a summary that you might have uh, on a big dashboard um, and we can just auto rotate our globe as if we have a satellite spinning around the world looking at the different hotspots uh, to show uh, where terrorism is occurring um, in the world. I'll just switch off the rotation. Um, in order to build something like this, obviously we need a database of uh, incidents. Um, it doesn't have to be terrorism. It could be sales. It could be positions of your employees. It could be all sorts of things. But in order to display that, we're going to need a globe. And it's quite a nice idea if we can just move the globe around a bit and uh, pick different places and be able to zoom in. As well as zooming in, we want to be able to drill down. So we pick a country and we drill down and we split that country into its different states. And we can see a heat map of the incidents for India. And again, we want to drill down again into a particular state and we can see the distribution of each of the individual events. Um, and we can also take a quick look and see the uh, data associated with each of those events. So in order to build something like this, we need a system that allows us to navigate and zoom in and zoom out, which we use React for. And we need a system to be able to draw the globe. Um, we use D3 for that. In order to draw our globe, before we get to the globe, which is the most complicated visualization, we probably want to visualize this as a map. So this is what it looks like as a map, a slightly simpler visualization of the distribution. And before we draw it as a map, we probably want to be able to um, draw it as data. So this is the very simplest. So for each of the countries, we just have a box and we have the number of events inside the box. So that's the first thing we do. We could do that all with React. And we take that and we take that information. And then I'm just going to switch off the terrorism and we have a map. And then for each of the countries, we're going to need a shape. Um, and all a map is, is a small shape. And we take some data out of the database with a number of points that allows us to draw each country. And what we do is each of these shapes sit on the screen. And every time we go over one of these shapes, they change color so that we know which country we're pointing at. And we use D3 to manage all of this. So in the uh, future videos, I'm just going to go through in a bit more detail how you build an application like this using React, how we get React and D3 to interact, and then how we would do some of the more simple visualizations. Hope you enjoy. Thank you very much.